take me inside Got a lot to give to you, girl Take me inside Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. So, Dubois finished Jerry Big Pharmacist Miller in one of the most exciting fights this year and on this card i would say this was the most intriguing fight okay the Ajay Kabaya one is the biggest win so far because also the big is the, the upset it was an upset on this card but this fight right here showed me something about the Dubois Dubois i think Dubois should be mean if he fought like this again no seek he would have beaten no seek if he fought like uh, 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 like this against maybe um joe joyce maybe he might have beat joe joyce but joe joyce at that time understands dubois and i'm happy that joe joyce won that fight though because of what dubois said about joe joyce's mom which was very disrespectful but i think dubois has learned you know he's um he's a he's still a kid but i'm very happy i don't like dubois but i'm happy that he beat up the pharmacist miller because the pharmacist Miller, I was at one time scared for Dubois when pharmacist Miller started working Dubois down. I think the middle of the round was started walking him down. And I think it was round four or so. Started walking him down and down and down. Like I was like Dubois was already tired of, at the end of round two, he was already tired. But this is his biggest win and the most exciting fight he's ever been in. How do you read this fight, bro? Mario Joe, what do you make of this fight? Wow, what a fight. You see, to, to, to begin with, to start with, right? This, honestly, this, 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 this fight is, I, I, it was a war, man. Okay, I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, but I'm just going to say as well that um, this proves one thing to me that Jarrell Miller has been juicing for a long time. Trust me. This guy, they need to basically all his fights before he got caught for doping. Honestly, if there is a way for them to call all those fights as a no contest, I'll be happy, man. Because this just shows to me. He's not able to throw the number of like he used this guy used to throw non-stop. Like he would keep throwing and throwing and throwing and never get tired. But in this fight, he couldn't do it. He was charging forward like a cow, but he was charging forward throwing nothing. Charging forward throwing absolutely nothing. And from around, you know, around four and five, he really, really gassed out really, really bad. Dubois also gassed out, to be fair, but he gassed out so bad. Dubois, so gassed, at, out, Dubois gassed out first. He yeah, yeah. Out around, at the end of round two, Dubois was already gassed out. Yeah, but because Dubois was throwing, he was doing, he was moving and all of that. Jarrell Miller was doing nothing, bro. He was doing absolutely nothing. He was only charging forward. He wasn't throwing. So he should be fresh. From around, around six, around seven, he really should be fresh because he wasn't throwing anything. So I'm happy for Dubois. Um, I think that Jarrell Miller is really lucky to be fighting on this stage after everything he has done, after feeling... A, you know, a, 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 a multiple for for, for multiple uh, what's it called now? Uh, 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 drugs, you know, um, and only God knows how long how long this guy has been doping. Right? We don't know how long he's been doping, so he's really really lucky to be fighting on the stage like this, to be fighting again at this level. And but I think going forward now, the print is out there. Um, Jaramella is not he's not a fantastic fighter. Um, he's been basically. Um, obviously, all his fights in the past has been because he's been juicing up. It's very, very obvious, as you can see. It. It's very, very obvious. He's not the same fighter. And I don't even think, I don't know who he's going to fight next. I don't know who's, if he's going to bounce back. Yeah, who is he going to fight? Who can he bounce back against? What is he really going to achieve? You know, um, 
Uh, yeah, I don't see him being anyone that is going to be a pop, and I, I I don't just see it, man. So, but I'm happy for Dubois. You know, he's still a young guy, 26 years old. Um, and you said something about Dubois fighting like this against. He should have fought like this against Usyk and Joe Joyce. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have been able to. This kind of fight entirely. Usyk was moving from side to side. Usyk would give you fit. And Usyk is not just moving. Usyk is throwing as he's moving. His is, 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 is movement in the ring is absolutely crazy. So there is no way the boy would have been able to fight like this. The only thing I would say is that that um, Miller was charging forward like a bull. Um, the boy stood his ground. You know, the boy was actually overpowering Miller. He was pushing you know and that really surprised me i was i was genuinely surprised that the boy was able to actually stand his ground against miller and was pushing him back you know so um i'm happy for him um i don't know where miller goes from here um it looks absolutely shocked to me um he had too much punches tonight and this would have taken a whole lot out of him a whole lot a whole lot so um congratulations the boy Miller, you're lucky to be fighting again, um, you know, on this kind of stage. And, and that's it, really. That's all I've got to say. Bro, it's so funny. The total punches, uh, uh, punches, uh, punches thrown, you can't really believe it, bro. There's a whole lot. Like, Dubois literally broke his record. He's never been in such a fight before. I think Jeremy Miller brought a uh, mean Dubois out. You know what but, it is, bro. But I don't you think this. Is, I don't think this is a Dubois will, will be seen every time because I think. No, no. I think he, no. he, 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 he it's, it's just like he, he he performed this way because he wanted to like, uh, kind of like quench the, um, the uh, the quitting uh, perception of allegation. Him. Yeah. See, he performed this way also, bro, because Miller was there to be hit okay miller was absolutely there to be hit miller wasn't bro miller wasn't anything no side by side movement absolutely nothing all he did was charge forward and if you're charging forward and throwing then the stand but he was charging forward without throwing anything he wasn't throwing so like in all honesty there was just nothing there done other than just keep you know just keep jabbing his head off and just keep you know giving him those power punches i don't think the boy will be able to fight like this in every fight because imagine who is he going to fight like this he's going to fight Chua like this is he going to fight wilder like this because wilder joshua and all these other guys even cover hell they don't fight that way you know they don't just charge forward straight line look at what he was just charging forward straight line bro straight line doing nothing absolutely nothing no head movement nothing 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 Nothing, just straight line, charge forward, get jabbed off, get punched up, and that's it. That is it. To be fair, he did say he was going to do this, though. He said he is going to walk the down and make him quit. Yeah, but if you're gonna if you're gonna walk someone down and make him quit, at least as you're walking the person down, you're throwing. All right, you're not just gonna be walking forward, relying on your weight, but you're doing nothing, doing absolutely nothing. If you're gonna charge forward, look at Joe Joyce, right? Yes, Jojo got knocked out and all of that. But come on, man. The way Jojo walks forward, he will walk forward and he will keep throwing. He will not stop. It is either you knock him out or he keeps throwing until he knocks you out. Yeah, Naturally. but Jojo has stamina. He can keep up with it. Dubois, um, um, Jared Miller. Jared Miller used to rely on, like, he used to rely on the drug. That he, that he, you know, that's why he, he, he used to, he, he normally threw a lot of punches, you know? Yeah, because he was on something, obviously. You know, look at it this way, bro. It's like, if you go out for a jog, yeah? Or actually, not even a jog, go out for a walk and just be walking forward, yeah? Upward movement, just keep walking. You're going to be able to go far, but if you're walking and throwing jabs and just do throwing some punches, you're going to get tired, all right? So all miller was doing was he was just walking forward doing nothing so he should be fresh he really should be fresh so if miller started throwing from like around round two and three i'm sure that by around four and five he would have been tired but all he did was walk forward threw nothing and just allowed the bois to just tear for him the bois was just throwing at, like bro no defense man 
the world will just throw in at will. At will. At will. At will. This, you see, you see, a fighter like Jaramela is perfect for a guy like um, 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 Dion Wilder. I'm telling you. Because Wada will just keep throwing the right hand until it knocks him out. Yeah, but the, Even, thing, is, the thing is that with Miller's weight, he would have imposed his weight on Wada. Wada is way yeah, more. True way, that, true that. Would, Wada is that. way more like he is way he way uh, more he way very he way, he way way less. Like he's like a he's not a cruiserweight. He's he's like on the cruiserweight. If you have to look at Wada's weight, in my opinion. But you know, he doesn't. Yeah, but I, I do think. Miller would have respected Water's power, though. You know. Yeah, but the, the thing as well is that uh, Miller doesn't know how to fight any other way. The only way he fights is charge forward and throw. But this was before he got caught for PED. When he had PED in his system, Miller will walk forward and he will throw. He's walking forward and keep throwing, and walking forward and keep throwing, and walking forward and keep throwing. But now without the PEDs, all he has is got his weight and just walking forward he cannot throw bro i told you a little while ago it was the last year i went to a boxing gym and i did boxing for about six months and i realized how hard it is for you to throw punches it is hard it is tiring for you to even keep your hands up is a problem it's okay you can walk forward no problem you can walk forward if you've got a little bit of cardio it's okay you can walk forward but throwing is hard throwing is extremely it takes everything out of you everything you'll be tired bro tired and that's what was proving tonight he was walking forward without throwing and still he got tired mm -hmm. it was like a punching bag it was just there like a punching bag literally a punching bag is the reason why the boy was able to throw so many punches because he was just throwing against the bag he was literally throwing against a bag that's it that's it no movement no nothing so all he did tonight just keep throwing and don't get tired of throwing and that was all he did so um, now look at look at the way a caballo fought tonight you want to tell me you put caballo there against the boy you think he's going to be able to do that absolutely no chance no chance no freaking chance no way so for me, right? But I'm I impressed think, by the boy movement, though. He 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 moves. He move. He moves better now compared to before. Yeah, he's. I mean, obviously, the guy now as for who elite heavyweights, I would say, is fought. I still, I still consider Joe Joyce, you know, an elite heavyweight, or at least a very, very good heavyweight. And he's been there against Usyk, an elite heavyweight, absolutely elite. I mean, yes, he lost those two fights, but. I still believe that he learned a lot from those losses. Of course. He's been in there with better, you know, oppositions. Who has Miller been in there with? The only good uh, uh, win on Miller's record, that I would say, is what can I even think of? Um, did he fight Gerard Washington? Yeah, Gerard Washington. Really, that's the, that's his best win. And that he was he was juiced up to the brain, I'm sure in that fight i am very very sure of that juiced up to the brain so in all honesty miller for me is not even i don't know will i call him top 30 heavyweight maybe maybe top 30 you know but anything outside of yeah i, I don't i don't rate him and i don't know where it goes from here i don't know where miller goes from here to be honest i don't think he yeah i think whatever money he makes from this he should just manage it well I don't think he goes yeah it might be yeah they might use him for a few more fights you know more like a, a johnny man and trust me bro bbc this fight took a lot out of miller miller has never been punched like this in his life okay miller has never been punched this many times and this now will take a lot out of miller the next fight miller goes into has to be selected very very carefully it has to be a low tier opposition like low tier if miller goes in there against somebody who has got something about them he get he gets knocked out now now what the boy did tonight he has seizing miller for the next person like miller is now seasoned like semi-cooked seasoned ready to go 
the next person that goes in there against and if that person can throw miller is getting knocked it's going to get knocked out he's getting knocked out you know yeah but people are saying that yeah miller will never be the same again he will never be on a big stage again i think he will still be on a sort of stage i just think because of his the way he, but he i think he'll be a punching bag to many upcoming events now you know it's hard but you know this is what happened i think this is the the fact that he i i really i was i'm not a big i'm not a fan of of uh dubois but i want him to beat miller i want of course him to i wanted him to beat miller as well who wouldn't who wouldn't who wouldn't this guy cheated how many people how many fighters did he fight in his boxing career so far and we don't even know how many times this guy cheated all of them by doping bro it is unfair it is really unfair that people are going in there against you you know their natural strength relying on their training relying on their techniques but you you relied more on in you know performing enhancing drugs to cheat them to have a, an unfair advantage to have an edge over them that was what you did bro it is cheating it is fraudulent that is why i do not like him i don't like him i'm sorry you see miller is is dream i'm telling you because he can sell himself he's got the gift of the gaff is he can talk he can sell a fight he's very entertaining but that's all he's got that's about it that's all he's got well, so man, for me i don't like miller for that i don't like miller because i know i've never fought boxing at any level at all i only went to the gym for six months and i know how bro that stuff is hard that stuff is hard so for you to now think that you're gonna go there and have an unfair advantage over the rest of the guys it's not good bro you're even lucky to be fighting on this level to be fighting on this stage now you're lucky you are absolutely lucky to, to have to have gotten this chance it's lucky bro he's fortunate very very fortunate this guy tested positive for three like i'm talking bound substances that you can't you have to inject yourself inject bro it's not like Conor Ben, people talk about Conor Ben. Yeah, he tested for but this. I mean, Conor Ben can claim that, oh, I got that from eating eggs and all. No, with Miller's, he had to inject himself. Really put needle in his body, bro, to get an advantage. Just imagine how long this guy has been doing that. All those guys he beat. Did he beat them fairly? Of course, no. And even after testing positive against AJ, Top Run gave him a chance. He tested positive again. So how can you like a guy like that? How can you give a guy like that? How can you give him a chance, bro? How? How? You tell me how, bro. So for me, I'm happy. In fact, I there's only one thing I'm not happy about tonight. Yeah, I want to guys ass on the floor. I want to see him on the floor. I don't like the way the referee stopped it. The referee should have allowed Daniel Dubois. Yeah, but I think it so was 14 minutes. I think 14 seconds to go so i think um probably wouldn't have been the case i think he would have survived it 40 seconds to go he would have survived it, Miller would have survived it. i don't know but if it, if it was if it was like a minute to go then they wouldn't survive it he would have been knocked down on the floor so mila is still uh, still um has I'm still five hasn't been dropped. Points, would have gone down. so yeah man for me absolutely i'm absolutely happy that you know he got beat up like this in fact i'm happy that the boy punished him from around one to ten i wish he was in there with somebody who's even got more skills and more capacity to punish him even harder than this honestly i wish he was in there with like joshua or somebody who would punish him for 12 rounds punish him proper you know because how can you do that bro how can you be cheating like that to that level to that wow. level bro to that level how can you be cheating to that level bro injecting yourself with some stuff so you can have an edge 
So for me, I'm so happy. And you know the fight I would like to see now? I would like to see the Joyce against Jerry Miller. I would like to see the Joyce punish him. Yes, the Joyce is slow, but he's way faster than Miller. And he's more powerful than Dubois. So I would, I would love to see the Joyce against Miller. Punish him the more. And let the, the Joyce bounce back from that. That's the fight I would like to see next. Yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting because it is now obvious that Jerry Miller can't throw. He will work forward though because that's the only thing he knows. He will work forward. He will do all of that. It's fine. That's the only thing he knows. But with Joe Joyce, Joe Joyce is not just walking forward. And Jerry Miller has got no power at all. He can't even bother Joe Joyce. Jerry Miller has got absolutely no power. Nothing. There's nothing in... Nothing. No power, bro. So he's not even going to bother Joe Joyce at all. He can't push Joe Joyce back. Joe Joyce is big like a tank. Joe Joyce is full of muscles, bro. 270 pounds full of muscle. So he's not even going to be able to overpower Joe Joyce at all. So Joe Joyce will punish him for 12 rounds and beat him up. That's the fact I want to see. Thanks, brother. Uh, I appreciate your take on this. The next one is Bivor against Lee Donato. It will go to the big one. Yes, bro. Catch you on the next one, bro. Talk to you soon. Yes, Can't bro. wait. Cheers, fam.